published 1.46 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 3rd of July 2018, updated, 4.07 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 3rd of July 2018 after the agonizing nature of the last 16 defeat by Belgium. Japan's World Cup squad and the thousands of fans would have been forgiven for leaving the Rostov Arena as swiftly as possible. A number of Japan players were left in tears after being knocked out of the tournament. When a late, late goal from Nasa Chadley sealed a 3-2 comeback victory for Belgium. But as revealed by FIFA general coordinator Presser Jensen's on Twitter, Japan's squad went to extra lengths to thank the hosts in Russia as they bowed out. Japan left the dressing room spotless after the 3-2 World Cup defeat by Belgium on Monday. Japan's fans were seen collecting rubbish in the stands after seeing the side lose to Belgium. The supporters mirrored the example set by the team upon leaving the Rostov Arena. Japan's fans have stayed to assist stadium workers after each World Cup match in Russia. Japan's supporters would have been forgiven for making a fast exit after losing the match. Sharing a picture of the spotless post-match dressing room, Jensen's wrote, this is the Japanese dressing room, sick. After losing to Belgium in the 94 minute, thank the fans in the stadium, cleaned up everything, bench and dressing room, and spoke to media. Even left note with, thank you, in Russian, what an example for all teams. Privileged to work with, Japan's fans were also pictured collecting rubbish from the stands moments after watching the side crash out in the most dramatic of circumstances the traveling supporters in Russia have been seen staying behind after each of the matches to help stadium workers to clear away litter and on Monday this was all after Japan seemed destined to cause the latest shock of a dramatic World Cup they carved out a 2-0 lead over Belgium one of the favorites to win the tournament in the second half in Rostov thanks to two Goals in four minutes from Genki Haraguchi, 48, and Takashi Inui, 52, but Belgium replied with a quick fire double of their own. Tottenham's Jan Vertonghen sparked the comeback in the 69th minute, and Marwan Fellaini hauled them level five minutes later. A goal in the final seconds of stoppage time by Nasa Chadley gave Belgium victory over Japan as Belgium celebrate a stunning winner. Japan's players lay strewn on the turf. Japan coach Akira Nishino described the defeat against Belgium as a trap. Tragedy Belgium then stole victory in the 94th minute when Thibaut Courtois caught a Japan corner and started a sweeping counter-attack through Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne found Thomas Munier surging forward on the right and his low cross was left by Romelu Lukaku for the onrushing Chadley to convert from. Close range, I do not want to really admit it but this was a tragedy, but I have to accept this defeat as a fact. I feel devastated, very disappointed, Japan coach Akira Nishino said, the players played to the best of their abilities, we were able to show good football on the pitch but our aim was to go to the next round so I cannot call this a success, I told the players to go and take a shower because they were just standing there not able to do anything, it's not just that we played well, but we had to win this game, we wanted to win, our team were strong enough and we were able to match Belgium and I believed we could beat them. Japan scorer Genki Haraguchi covered his face with a towel when the final whistle was blown. Japan midfield attack Kashi Inui, left, who also scored, needed consoling after full-time Japan's players acknowledged the fans. In the moments after the final whistle against Belgium from they scored I questioned whether I was in control in the game and thought that I should be blamed and not the players. I blamed myself, I questioned my tactics, he added, I wanted my players to have a different mentality to Japanese teams in the past, I think we succeeded in having a different mentality but there was something missing in our skills and powers, Belgium play Brazil in the quarterfinal at 7pm on Friday at the Pizan Arena.